Many games have treasure chests or crates or other objects the player can interact with to get a bunch of collectible items like coins. For our game, we have a treasure chest that we can use. There it is. And I'm going to go and put this one down here. And I might move this coin out. I might even just delete this coin. Okay, so I've got my treasure chest down there. Let's add a script to it. So how do we want it to work? Well, we want it to detect when the player overlaps it. Then it's going to play its animation to open up. And then it's going to create a bunch of coins that will fly out of it. So first of all, we need to disable its physics when the level starts. So we'll go to events when the level starts and then physics set physics enabled false. Next, we're going to keep track of the player. We go to variables, create variable, and we'll call this player and it will be an instance. And its value will be based on its tag. So if we go to sensing and grab first instance by tag player, and then to detect if the player is overlapping this chest, we'll go to events constantly. And then we want to know if, that's from control flow, if do. And then the overlapping block is from sensing near the bottom. If myself overlaps object, we'll get rid of object. We'll go to variables and grab instance player instead. Okay, so if myself is overlapping the player, what do we want to do? Um, we want to check whether or not the chest has been opened. If it hasn't yet been opened, then it should open. So we'll keep track of whether or not it's been opened with a variable. We'll create a new variable called opened, and it'll be true or false. And uh, when the level starts, opened will be set to false. So we'll go to operators and grab true, change that to false. Um, now we want to ask if it's opened so we're going to control flow grab another if block put it inside that if block and we want to know if not opened we can go to operators and grab this not block and then we can go to variables and grab true false opened and this not opened is exactly the same as if opened equals false they mean the exact same thing so if it's not opened, we will set opened to true. And then we will play the open animation. So we'll go to animation and grab play animation idle and change that to open. And let's give that a quick test and see what that looks like. We'll play the game and save this as our treasure chest. And we'll walk up to that chest. And there we go, it opens up. Nice. Next step, get the coins to come out. 